Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yana. This is The Scented. We talk about all things fragrance. If that's your thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for any new videos coming up. Today we are talking about cheap dupes that are better than the original. This is gonna be for various reasons, from them smelling better to them lasting longer, but I have a handful that I really wanna share with you and these are legit just better. They're better than the original and sometimes it happens. As much as we love the craft and appreciate the artistry that goes into the original fragrance, and I know there are gonna be some of you coming after me for promoting dupes, but hey, sometimes the dupes are better and that's just the truth. So we're gonna start with a fragrance that I really, really love and kind of what pushed me into dupes because of its horrendous longevity, and that is Jo Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt, a beautiful kind of salty, aquatic, slightly sweet, herbaceous fragrance that is unisex, it's stunning, but it doesn't last. It lasts like, if I'm lucky, it'll last two hours on me. So this is how I went down the rabbit hole of dupes. I discovered an oil from a brand called The Fragrance Shop, they are an American brand, they're made in the USA. This is completely unsponsored by the way. I found their oil, I have a little bit left still, I'm savoring it. They are not the cheapest, but incredible quality. Really like spot on, completely spot on, phthalate free, paraben free, cruelty free. And I also got the body care item. So I got the dry body oil, I got the lotion, and I use them all. And they all last really, really long and they smell spot on the next best one is from generic perfumes their woods agency salt dupe is a lot more affordable than this one and theirs also is basically spot on like i'm just being picky by preferring this they're they're both basically identical so for woods agency salt the oil dupes are better. Next up is Angelique Noir from Guerlain. They just relaunched this fragrance in a new packaging. It is a beautiful, vanillic, angelica fragrance. It's rich, it's heavy, the original. It smells very luxe, very rich, but I prefer Juliana's perfumes, and they're both incredibly long lasting, but I like the scent of Juliana's perfumes Red Carpet Affair more because it smells more casual and daily wearing. It's lighter, it's a little bit more piney smelling, where the original has like a deeper bitterness of the Angelica. This one's lighter and kind of fresher, so more appropriate for everyday wear. This original one, and I only have a small decant that's almost used up, it's more of a very special occasion scent. So for that reason, I do prefer Juliana's Perfumes Red Carpet Affair. Next up is Chanel's Coromandel. I got myself a little sample of the original, and what happens with the original is it goes into a very dirty patchouli on me. It, the opening is beautiful. It has white chocolate, for those of you who are not familiar with the scent. White chocolate and patchouli is mainly what you get. It has almost like a uh, eucalyptus -y type of medicinal facet to it. I love Coromandel fragrance oil from Oil Perfumery. This one is so much better. It has like a consistent scent. It doesn't change into anything weird. It doesn't change into any dirty patchouli. This smells like, to me, it smells a little bit eucalyptus-y, but also very warm, comforting, bold. It smells fierce. It smells like you are a boss, like woman or man, like this smells like you are a boss, but not like, not in a mean way. Really, really lovely fragrance, confidence boosting. I love to wear the oil. Every time that I've worn the original, I've worn it a few times, I was just like by the dry down, kind of over it. So yeah, the oil to me is better. Super long lasting as well. They're both insanely long lasting, but the oil, yeah, it lasts all day, like 10 hours plus. Then Princess from Killian. This one may or may not be discontinued. I still can't figure it out. It came back in stock at Sephora, then got sold out again, haven't seen it since. And this one is like a green tea, marshmallowy, beautiful fragrance with a little bit of a ginger kick in the opening. It's it's fluffy, it's soft, it's so lovely, so lovely and horrendous longevity. Like horrible, horrible performance. Really, I would not recommend this to anyone. I only bought it because I personally truly love the scent and I got it like with the 20% off at Sephora. So yeah, I bought it. But then Generic Perfumes came out with their oil dupe and I wore this the other day and oh my God, it smells identical. It smells delicious, mouth-watering, sweet, 
and super, super long lasting and strong. So everything that the original is missing, this one makes up for. Like, had I known, well, they came out with this very recently, but I would have never bothered buying this if I had just got my hands on this, like during the fall Sephora sale. So yeah, the oil, way better than the original and smells completely identical. The next fragrance, I don't think is an intentional dupe, but they do smell extremely similar and it's Creatively Shanghai from the Vibrant Cities collection from Zara. And to me, it smells quite similar to Orange Bitters from Jo Malone, but I like this scent so much more. I talked about it in my Zara dupes video, which I'll link up here for you, where I reviewed the whole Vibrant Cities collection. And the whole Vibrant Cities collection is kind of a dupe of some other popular fragrance. This one is a bright kind of effervescent, slightly bitter mandarin orange with cardamom and there's a cedar note in the background. It's really nice. It's like very Christmassy smelling, just like orange bitters, which comes out as a limited edition around Christmas time. These two are extremely, extremely similar, but I just like how this one smells better for the price point. There's no reason to go for this longevity wise about the same. Jo Malone's are not super long lasting, although this one's on the better side. Performance wise, very, very similar. Price wise, like whoop, completely like not, not even close. Like I would never bother buying this. I would just get Creatively Shanghai, even though I did bother getting it because obviously I own it, but that's a whole different story. Second last, Matcha Meditation. Thank goodness that I did not pull the trigger on a full bottle of matcha meditation because I hecking love how this smells. I got the sample, also reviewed it when it was a new release. I'll link that up here. But the problem was, again, terrible, terrible performance. Like, disappears from your skin very quickly. And then generic perfumes saved my butt by coming out with a dupe that smells identical. It's a concentrated version of this it lasts all day. I wore this as well not too long ago. I wore it a few times. If it gets on your clothing, it's staying. Like it's staying until you wash your clothing. It makes up for everything that this is missing. It's a beautiful kind of white chocolate matcha scent. I love the soft, sweet, like milkiness of that white chocolate note. There's jasmine as well and orange blossom. The orange blossom is really pretty in here with obviously green tea, there's mate and it's a lovely, lovely tea scent. I'm so glad I didn't buy a full bottle of this. I would have regretted it because now I have a long lasting version. And yeah, if you're like not picky about packaging or presentation, and if you put that ego aside, honestly, the oils like win on a lot of levels. And finally, I'm sure you saw on the tray behind me, a very controversial dupe that I'm saying is better than the original. Is it really better than the original? My personal opinion is possibly not, but the reason why I'm saying that the cloud from Ariana Grande is better than Baccarat Rouge 540 from MFK, <gasps> shocker, I know, is because this scent is already so heavily duped. There are so, so, so many dupes out there. The original is like flawless and beautiful and airy, yes, but it takes away from the value and the like the specialness of the scent now that there are so many dupes. So at this point, this is extremely affordable. According to TikTok, number one compliment getter, if you guys haven't seen my TikTok most complimented fragrances, linked up here. This one, people love. They love this coconutiness that's in here. It's a little bit different. It's not exactly like Baccarat Rouge, but they do smell extremely, extremely similar. And this one can be had for like, $40, where this one is like 400, 500, more for the big bottle, which anyway, mine is almost out. So for the price point, for the scent profile, for the fact that there are already so many dupes out there, if you're gonna be going for a dupe, you might as well go for the cloud. People love it, people love it. I'm not saying my own opinion here, I'm just saying the general public seems to really love the cloud. Me personally, I still really love the Baccarat Rouge 540. Will I repurchase it? 
Probably not though. So that is my whole list for today of cheap dupes that are better than the originals. Please comment down below. Let me know if you know of any dupes that are better than the originals. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see a part two, let me know as well. I will come up with more dupes that are better than the originals and legitimately better. Like I'm not just going to tell you guys random dupes just for the sake of doing a video. These ones legitimately I do feel are better than the originals. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell. Stay tuned for new videos coming up and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.